guys, it's Elizabeth from Neverland Creative here with my very first edition of Photoshop Friday, a bi-weekly series that helps you learn the ins and outs of Photoshop for memory keeping. So today I'm going to be going through how to use Photoshop to add multiple photos to the same page, which is what I do for all of my project life spreads. So first of all, I'm going to create a 4x6 rectangle to clip my photo into. So I'm just going to press on the little rectangle button on my Photoshop sidebar and click somewhere on the page. And then when that little box comes up that says create rectangle, I'm going to enter 4 inches in width, 6 inches on width, and 4 inches on the height, and then press OK. And that gives me a 4x6 rectangle. So I'm just going to drag that to where I want it to be and then click on file and then place embedded which um, is what I prefer to do to add my photos to the page. And to add my specific photo I'm just going to click on the one that I want to add and then um, once the photo is clicked I'm going to click on that blue button that says place and that will place my photo on my canvas. So I have a Mac, which means that um, my keyboard keys might be a little different than yours if you're working on a PC, but I usually use the shift key on my keyboard and then drag and drop the sides of the photo at the same time so that I can make it, um, so I can shrink it to size. So as you saw, I just shrink it to four by six and then press the little check mark button that said okay. So now I'm gonna go over to my layers um, bar, which is over on the right that you can see, and it has things like background, rectangle one, and then the image name. And I'm going to click, right click on the image name, and then when that menu pops up, I'm going to click on create clipping mask, which um, creating a clipping mask essentially means that you're clipping your photo to the exact size of your rectangle. So whatever size you made your rectangle, you could do one and one, um, 3 by 4 or 4 by 6 like I'm doing here, um, but whatever the size of your rectangle, that is what your photo will end up being. So when I'm adding multiple photos to the same page, I want to make sure that I'm using as much of the paper as possible for my photos. So what I do is I rotate the 4 by 6 photos. So over in my layers, I click on both the rectangle and on the image, I go into edit, transform, and then I usually do rotate 90 degrees clockwise and click on that and it will automatically rotate your photo so that it's um, completely straight vertically, which is great because if I do that freehand, it never ends up being exactly straight. And when you're um, cutting out photos, you know, you need to, to have straight lines. So I pretty much repeat this entire process until my 8.5 by 11 canvas is filled up. So I have two 4 by 6s right there, which I created with the same exact process that I just showed you. And now I'm going to add some 3 by 4. So I just add a rectangle, um, put in 3 inches by 4 inches, and I'm just going to go through the same exact process. This process works with any size. Uh, rectangle or square or circle that you want it to. So if you want a one inch circle, just click the circle, make a one inch circle, and then follow the same process. Um, as you can see, that photo that I have of my daughter right there actually was big enough to fill up the entire canvas. So again, I just pressed the shift key on my keyboard and dragged the sides of it so that it would fill the frame. And as you see, I can um, scale it to shape to include whatever part of the photo I want to. So there I was figuring that it showed a little too much of the wall, so I just scaled it to zoom in more on my daughter. And there we go. Perfect 3 by 4 inch rectangle. And even though this process can seem a little bit daunting to some, it is really easy once you get the hang of it. I think I made this entire collage of photos within about two minutes because I've been using Photoshop for the last couple of years and now I pretty much do it on rote. Um, I know where everything goes and how to do all the things so it's really easy once you get the hang of it. So I'm just going to continue doing the same process until my entire canvas is filled with photos. Um, create a rectangle, place your photo, scale your photo and then right click on the photo layer and then click um, create clipping mask as you can see right there and um, you can adjust where your photo is, where your photo is aligned, 
Um, but pretty much that's your process. And again, I rotate it to fit more photos on my page. And that is my full process for adding multiple photos to the same 8.5 by 11 page. All right, so that's my process. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about how to add multiple photos to the same page in Photoshop, please don't hesitate to comment down below, and I will try to answer your questions as best as I can. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more of my Photoshop Friday series or anything else that I post here on my channel. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye.